What up, Pike Man? It's your boy Sport tonight. He's back on the channel today for you guys with some more of that Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. Now, we're <laughs> from what I'm seeing, there's about to be a lot of this game that we're about to play. Like I've been seeing people just like said it's like 20 hours worth of gameplay and all this other stuff. So, well, not well. I like the stories, like the episode battle. There's plenty of gameplay you can do, like versus stuff like that online or whatever. But this is like there's so much we can do in this game well well so many hours of the episode battles and i think they're gonna be more dlc for 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 more of it but anyway we're gonna jump into it dragon ball spark and zero let's ride oh all right let's take a peek shall we lord beerus we're back to episode barrel. Oh man. Yeah, I think more gets added to the more you play. But anyway, here we go. The Goku Saga Chapter 2. Here it goes! Combining their powers, Goku and Vegeta force the Ginyu forces to retreat. Seeing that their will is broken, Goku orders him to turn to the planet. Instead, the Ginyu force spots an opening and tries to kill Goku while his guard is down, only to be cut down themselves by Vegeta. After Vegeta's devastating attack, it is only Goku, it is only Ginyu who remains when the enemy's leader, Frieza, emerges. Frieza, Frieza order, orders Ginyu to search for the Dragon Balls. As Ginyu leaves, Vegeta follows in pursuit. Next, Frieza offers Goku and his friends a chance to join the Frieza Force. Goku, of course, turns his offer down, but he can sense that Frieza is far stronger than any enemy they faced before. It is then that Vegeta, who is supposed to be pursuing Captain Ginyu, returns to go to Goku and the others. Before they know what is happening, Vegeta begins attacking Goku and his friends. Now I can know how strong Vegeta truly is. With a first-hand experience! Vegeta! What do you think you're doing?! Oh, Ginyu. Before exterminating the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. Yes, my lord. That's... Ginyu? What the hell's going on? Is Vegeta betraying us, or what? I'm not sure. But we have to keep on fighting, or we're toast! Here we go. That's that's actually pretty cool that they got Vegeta portraying Ginyu this time instead of Goku. Hmm. Sit down. All right. Kakarot, don't you dare injure my body. Is that can you? Wait, your body? No, no way. Slow on the uptake, aren't we? Yes, my special power allows me to swap. I should be able to hit him with the spirit bomb right here. Vegeta's strength is mine to wield. Done. Yep, there it is. Pardon Bam, sit down. Ginyu. Have you forgotten my orders to obtain the Dragon Balls? No, of course not, Lord Frieza. But I... Sit down. But, but why? Even using Vegeta's body, why can't I kill you? choice then I'll just take your body instead Kakarot get out of the way Whoa. 
Vegeta blocks Ginyu's attempt, forcing him back into his own body. <laughs> I knew you'd use your power again soon enough. You've outlived your usefulness, Vegeta. I'll wind up with a lower power level. But desperate times call for desperate measures. What? Change now! Stop! With Ginyu temporarily stunned, Tien narrowly avoids having his body stunned. You froze for a second. What happened? That technique, it must be. Chaozu! Worried about his friends, Chaozu follows behind being careful not to be noticed. Chaozu uses his telekinesis to change Ginyu's body with the frogs and the battle is won. Concern for the wounded Goku and Vegeta, Krillin and the others hand them sensu beans to heal. Even to them, it's painfully clear that Goku cannot defeat Frieza alone and that Vegeta's help will be required. However, Frieza is enraged at seeing his underlings beaten and he goes after Goku and the others. Unable to bear seeing his friends hurt anymore, Goku challenges Frieza to a one-on-one -on -one fight. You wish to do battle with me one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> I have never encountered such an overconfident imbecile in my whole life. <laughs> I'll let you in on something, Kakarot. Frieza's race can transform to become stronger. Well, someone's done his homework, hasn't he? So you know my little secret? Let's just say some of your elite soldiers have loose lips. He can transform? You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? You mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In my case, I'm merely holding back the full force of my awesome power. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. I wouldn't want you to feel the shame of being defeated without being at your full strength. Oh, you're going to suffer dearly for such an insult. Rejoice. You will have the honor of being killed by my transformed state. Now, feast your eyes. Oh, the transformation is dope. Just like the freaking anime. I love what it. Incredible energy. His power is practically doubled. You're in for it now. My second form makes the one you're familiar with look as gentle as a sleeping kitten. Bro, I'm just lighting him up. This is taking longer than I wanted. Dang, I was lighting him up there. I I I do wish the story was a little bit more moving base, but I mean I like it though. Frieza is in the midst of the next step of his transformation and intends to show Goku and his friends just how much more powerful than them he really is. And to further plunge Goku into the depths of despair, Frieza orders his soldiers to eliminate Goku's wounded allies. Just as a legion of troops appear from Frieza's spaceship, Master Roshi arrives to bring Chaozu back home. Our heroes give the last of their sensu beings to Goku and entrust him to defeat Frieza while fighting Frieza's soldiers despite their own wounds. 
armed with the sensu beans and the hopes of his companions, Goku takes the battle of Frieza one last time. Kakarot! Vegeta! <laughs> Are you afraid? Have you realized that even combined, your power pales in comparison to mine? Kakarot, even you wouldn't be stupid enough to fight Frieza if you didn't think you had a chance of winning. Yeah, that's right. If I use my spirit bomb technique, I think I can beat him. But even then, it's got such a slim chance of working. Gathering enough energy for it takes more time than we have. What? The, what the hell are you going to do? I'm not risking the others' lives in this battle. So if we don't have an opening, I'm just gonna have to make one. Idiot. It's a futile effort. Neither you nor I have any chance of beating him! How could a low-class warrior like you ever hope to topple Frieza? Frieza's third form. There we go, let's go. Can I pick Vegeta? No. No, sir. I didn't remember how to do the counters and stuff. Ow. Dang, I missed it. Get you. <laughs> gotcha. Mm. This is hard enough on the lower difficulty. Dang it. So I was hoping he'd stay there. It's been amusing, but I've grown tired of this charade. So I believe it's time to end this poor excuse for a battle. And my reward to you for all your valiant efforts. Crap. The privilege of seeing my final transformation. Oh, that's right. I can't my use Rip Bomb right now. Power. Did he just get all of his life back? I think he did. Now get yep. ready. That is so freaking cool. The wait is over. Now I will show you a terror far greater than hell itself. Can you block that? What are you waiting for? Eat that last sense of being and be quick about it. Here I am. I'll send the cheetah. But what about just eat the damn thing before I burn it to ashes with the last of my strength? Forgive me, Vegeta. Oh, shut up. You're far more wounded than I am. Don't start giving me your worthless sympathy. You're nothing like any Saiyan I've ever met in my entire life. Warrior who fights to protect who they care about. Such a nature was frowned upon in our culture. Vegeta? Sit down. You still understand Dang what it means to be safe. So now I'll set the example. You'll never learn when it's time to lay down and die, will you? Vegeta! It sucks that the biggest drawback is making a strong enough spirit bomb. That's how long it takes to make 
Gather the energy for it. Not bad. <laughs> Let's freaking go, Vegeta. So I'm about to use dirty fireworks, but I didn't get it off. Oh, Goku proficiency went up to three stars. That might be something I work on. What's this? What is a sparking is that episode? What I think it is. is that like a full full phone episode? Seen a mass of energy that size. <laughs> How unfortunate for you. Don't you hate it when a plan falls apart? I know I certainly do, but nice try. No! No, damn it! Special beam cannon! Gohan! Piccolo! What are you doing here? How is that brat? And that Namekian still drawing bread? I thought they'd been taken care of! I'm beset on all sides by sneaky parasitic flies! He just won't rest until I've been pushed to the limits of my patience. You meddling brats! I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet! <sighs> okay, it's finally ready! Do it! Go, go! What have you done? Bro, if that wasn't dope, I don't know what it was. That was cool. With the help of his friends, Goku successfully defeats Frieza with the Spirit Bomb. Goku asks why Piccolo and the other Namekians are on Earth as they should be on planet Namek. It seems as if Piccolo and the others have been able to immediately teleport to Earth by using the Dragon Balls on planet Namek. Typically, true heroes are the only ones worthy of obtaining the Dragon Balls. However, once it is discovered that the God of Earth is a Namekian, permission to use the Dragon Balls were granted. Afterward, a Namekian boy called Dende uses his mysterious powers to heal the wounded. Just as Goku and friends are expressing their gratitude, a fully recovered Vegeta appears. So, okay, so with this all unfolding, then that means that... This is where our alliance ends, Kakarot. I will no longer be fighting alongside you people. Mark my words. One day soon, I will defeat you. Seriously? Ugh, I was this close to inviting him to the victory party, too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll show up when the party starts. I think we're growing on him. Actually, the next time we see Vegeta, I think he'll be intending to fight us for real. What? And like you said, who knows? Don't scare me like that, Goku! <laughs> At the very least, Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Earth anymore. Yeah, and if Vegeta does come back, I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Yeah. about you guys but I'm totally starving thanks to the bravery of Goku and the others Frieza is defeated the planet Earth and the whole galaxy are at peace for now the war was won but the battles are far from over for there are many other fearsome foes looming on the horizon for Goku and the rest of our heroes, the saga continues.
Okay, so what I was saying. So with that being said. So that being said right there. So, okay, so that means that Planet Namek never got destroyed. And that means that Planet Namek. So that means that everybody. So that means that that Dende never has to come to Earth, right? So that means that. Um, so that means that. What's that mean for? What does that mean for Kami? So that means Piccolo doesn't have to ever fuse with Kami. So that means that Kami never dies. And so that means that like the Dragon Balls are there on Earth, and they never have to go. Wow, wow, that's a lot of thinking right there. Okay, that's still pretty cool though. I like that. I like that. 